This is Dino's Deer Processing in North Memphis, where a simple idea feeds hundreds of people every day. Dino's is part of the Tennessee Wildlife Federation's highly successful Hunters for the Hungry plan. When I said Hunters for the Hungry, everybody was like, well, I don't hunt. I don't know if I can help. And I just explained that the program is really cool and that you don't have to really necessarily hunt. Connell Lerb started a Hunters for the Hungry club last year at Hutchinson School. Walk straight to the end right there. She and her classmates are touring the Mid-South Food Bank to learn more about the depth of hunger in the Mid-South. Food insecure population is 20% in the Mid-South. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I very cold. Mickey Mancini and his team at Dino's Deer Processing are doing what they can to help. This is where we end up grinding our meat right here. They turn a hunter's deer into a variety of venison products, everything from bacon. The flavor is there, man. I mean, the flavor is there. To sausage. This is where our Lincoln machine is here. In this case, it's a good thing to see how the sausage is made. We do boudin also. Cajun sausage, Italian sausage, bratwurst. It's all natural. Very lean. One of Dino's other big hits is handmade venison hot tamales. Jose brought this back from Mexico. It's his recipe, but they are excellent. People love these things. Hunters pay Mickey to process their deer, but most take only some of the meat for themselves and donate the rest. Many donate it all. One deer uh, can make 120 meals. While hunting is controversial with a lot of people, Mickey says eating is generally not. If they have ever been in a situation where they didn't have food to eat that night, everything these days you just is there at your grocery store. Well, there's some people that are, are not fortunate enough. If they were one of the unfortunate people that didn't have nothing to eat, I promise you they would be glad to be able to eat a bowl of deer chili or deer spaghetti that night. There you go. A lot of meat there. That's part of what the Hutchison students are learning. I'm not a hunter at all. But her dad is, and Allison Labry says Hunters for the Hungry has become their common ground. I used to get so mad at him and be like, I really don't understand. Like, I, I just don't get hunting. And so it was really cool because I made a deal with him, and he's going to start donating me and what he kills to this program so it's just a cool experience to see how everybody can work together like even if you don't hunt but hunting is huge in tennessee and so is giving last year hunters for the hungry donated enough venison to provide half a million meals across the entire state in north memphis cameron harper local 24 news